Some days ago I made a video about Kyle Adams and his new channel where he posted the video where he asked the wrong person the wrong question and believe it or not he's on it again. I have had some discussions after I posted my last video about Kyle with Kyle and he don't seem to see the problem with his statements in the video that he was forced to lie if he replied the scientific explanation of how, how stars was formed. But he didn't give up there. He's on it again. Let's start this dumpster fire. Kyle is back at the university in Utah. Oh dear. If you say something that you don't believe in, would you consider that to be a lie? Um, yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. So, NASA claims that stars are formed by gas clumping together in the vacuum of space. And Kyle tries to present it like it's a fairy tale presented by NASA. It's a lot of science behind and you are simplifying it. If you read the first sentence up here, stars forms in large clouds of gas and dust. I did forget the dust part and this is based on science conducted by scientists all over the globe for a very very long time but Kyle knows better than all scientists in this field all over the world. Okay, but every time we put gas into a vacuum that gas expands and fills up the entire vacuum, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you see that kind of thing on a, on a Scantron, you got multiple choice and they're expecting you to say something that you don't believe in, that gas clumps together in a vacuum. Is that being forced to lie on a test? Maybe so. From the latest video from Kyle, we know that he is on a technical university. So this young man is probably studying to be an engineer, a mechanical engineer or something like that. This is not his line of education. This is not the subject that he knows anything about. So integrity is really important in academia, right? If you are caught cheating or something like that on a test, it's huge no-no. Like you could get expelled for something like that, right? Definitely. So when you're forced to lie on a test and say stuff that you don't believe in, uh, such as the way stars are formed or something like that, that's a huge issue because you're, you're encouraging you to lie, but at the same time they don't want you to lie. So, yeah. so what are your thoughts on the Scantron process itself? Kyle claims it's a lie without any evidence at all. 
But we all know that he don't believe in space. He believe in a flat earth, a small and local sun and moon and a closed system with the dome. So everything which has to do with the planets, the stars and so on are lies according to Kyle. And he believes that the Bible tells us so. Um, I'm not too familiar with it, but um, it's multiple choice and I think it's pretty effective because you can take your test and it gets graded pretty quickly. It's really quick, but there's no room for disagreement. That is true. So if there's no room for disagreement, is that indoctrination? Um, I'm not sure. Indoctrination is the process of teaching a person or group a set of beliefs uncritically. If you are forced to agree with your teacher or get docked, that is indoctrination. And Kyle tries to force his view of what the Bible teaches, both Christians and non-Christians, because Kyle knows and he have the correct uh, way of reading the Bible, so he knows all there. Okay, so we still want to be able to have the testing process itself. We, know, we want to show that we understand the curriculum, but we also want to be able to do so honestly. We don't want it to be indoctrination. Definitely. Right? So can you think of any solutions to that problem? Maybe like a space to be able to write out your own thoughts and maybe in an extra blank where you can fill in your own answer. Who knows? So still reflect that this is what the curriculum teaches. I remember that, but I don't agree with it, and here's why. Yeah, definitely. Join me. Become a defender of truth by actually getting up and doing something. I've got phone numbers and emails here. Send a text. Send an email. Not just to these people, but to your local school teachers and school boards. Write to your state board of education. This problem is everywhere. Defend your right to disagree and have your own beliefs. Together, we can make a difference. Send. Kyle thinks he's in the right to urge his followers to terrorize this staff on this university. All based on Kyle's own silly ideas about how university studies should be conducted in the proper way, according to him. I think it's, we have to believe the Bible, space is fake. Let's listen to a wise man, a Jesuit, who also knows a thing or two about the upcoming of stars. This is Isa Piao here in the Vatican. How can you hear me? That dot of light is not just a pretty star. Jules, Isa Piao in the Vatican. This is space station. We hear you loud and clear. I can see in the sky things that are beautiful and familiar and have a history and smile at me and remind me that God makes good things. It's one small step for man. This call to try to understand the universe is a divine call. That is the basis on which we have the courage to be scientists. Surrounded by the majestic papal gardens on the site of the Pope's former summer residence at Castel Gandolfo is a department of the Vatican that most people don't even know exists. For here, in this heavenly setting, the Vatican Observatory examines the heavens. Brother Guy Consolmagno is a former lecturer at Harvard and MIT. Now a Jesuit, he is the director of the Vatican Observatory. We've got 12 astronomers, most of them Jesuits. There are a couple of uh, diocesan priests who work with us. And we all have doctorates from different universities from around the world. We come from four continents. 
We do science ranging from, you know, the Planck time of the first 10 to the minus 43 seconds before that time after the Big Bang to dust that hits the top of the Earth's atmosphere now and everything in between. Destroy. I think that Kyle is dishonest. He bases all of this on his beliefs that we live on a flat stationary Earth, that space is fake, and he thinks that the Bible proves it. So he will not listen to any scientific explanations at all. So why terrorizing people on this university? Why asking his audience to email and give phone calls to the poor staff of this university? I think Kyle is dishonest. Oh dear. And I hope he look at some videos about this Jesuit priest, the astronomer. He is brilliant. I am not religious, but I like his take on religion. If you ask him about if he's not afraid of finding more in the universe, he says it only shows how great God is. But if you listen to Kyle, his beliefs is very narrow-minded. Oh. Thank you for watching my videos, hope you liked it, if you did become a member, subscribe or come back next time I publish a video. Have a nice day, see you soon, bye.